Hey everyone, Brendan here from Athena Intelligence. Today, I'm gonna to walk through the platform, give you a little bit of background of what Athena is, what it can do. Let's get started. You can start by visiting our website at athenaintelligence.ai, and then the top right, launch app. You've now logged into the Olympus platform. This platform is purpose-built for both human and AI agents to operate it. We'll take a look shortly at what that means. All of today's demonstration is gonna be from the perspective of the Kansas City Chiefs. We synthetically generated a bunch of data as well as pulled a bunch of public information in order to make this a representative workflow. But obviously you can extend this to your industry, oil and gas, healthcare, defense, whatever it might be. Out of the box, Olympus platform has various modules for you and the agent Athena to operate in, chat, reports, queries, notebooks, browse, and spaces, as well as a bunch of out-of-the-box tasks that she can help you with today. We'll get started by connecting an enterprise data source, which we've already done ahead of time. We connect to all the major enterprise warehouses, as well as the structured and unstructured data stores. And you can also directly upload information into the platform in the form of websites, CSVs, Excel, video, audio, image, uh, all of the ones notified here. We can start by asking a question of one of these documents by peeking out of here and then immediately chatting with the document. Athena is gonna be able to respond super quickly to some of our core questions and as we get those results, we can scroll to the right-sided page to kind of dig in deeper. I queued up a few more workflows here where we're taking a look at a few different data types, including audio, video, and PDFs with you know, up to 100 pages in many cases. Let's take a look at why this is useful and where we can put this to work. So I'll jump back into chat and I can directly reference a web research workflow. And as I'm going through that workflow, prior to sending it off, I can either attach some of those documents we just took a look at or continue with the base workflow. Great. NFL team highlights and data sets. As Athena's working, we can inspect under the hood to see her results and see the various tools and actions that are being called under the hood. Athena has access to numerous models. Today, we're gonna to be looking at some of the OpenAI models, as well as some of the Grok models for various tool calling workflows. Let's get started. We're now gonna to switch to a Grok model and Summarize and generate some SQL and Python to analyze these data sets. Extremely quick there to get that response. It's one of the main benefits of us using Grok. Anytime we see SQL or Python, we allow you to directly pivot into an execution environment to run that analysis. We're now in our SQL editor. We can load up some data sets and start an exploration. And in an occurrence where we've taken a look at Python, similarly, we can directly open that interface and have a fully rendered Jupyter notebook available to us. Let's take a look at some analyses that we previously created. Let's summarize this workflow. And generate an additional cell. As that's finishing, we can take a look at one last UI. That's gonna be our spaces workflow in which we're able to use some of the more multimodal features that are available in the market today including the following, where we're analyzing the image output of this chart. 
Dean is also available to assist in browsing workflows, to pull information, and assist with the web research work that many teams are doing today. Great, we got that final analysis done. We can add it here and continue our work. A lot more to see, not very much time to show it all. Uh, please stick around, uh, sign up for our newsletter, and you will find more. See ya.